Tan Signature Tower is basically a very tall tower. It's 110 stories high. It's 500 meters tall, which is that tall. So the there's like a there's like an observation deck on top where you can observe Guantan as a whole. So this is a so this is our master plan. Our master uh, so Guantan basically this part is commercial, this part is residential, there's mix mix here. And mostly are like jungle areas and greens. Which is this is our canopy. Yeah. So basically the new township Santan, we have nine landmarks, okay? So we have the Flex Tower. We can enjoy the cityscape of Kuantan from the top of the tower. Second, we have Kuantan River Walk, which is located here. Okay, here. Second, we, next we have salted fish workshop. Basically, Kwanta is like famous for their salted fish workshop, so we decided to create a salted fish workshop for Kwanta. Oh, Satan. So we can experience their culture, their famous salted fish. Next, we have the floating market. The floating market is located here, and basically, we got inspiration from Bangkok. The floating market. Basically, right now we have the first ever floating market in Malaysia. So it's a it's a very beautiful place. It's gonna be a very beautiful place. Next we have the cruise ship term terminal here where other cruise ships from other places like China, Singapore or other countries they can come here through the port and enjoy our new Santan. Next we have the party workshop. Basically the party workshop is Liquidity here, and it's a workshop for batiks where you can enjoy the tradition of batiks in Guantan. Their style, the colors. Next, we have the turtle sanctuary which, sanctuary, which is located here. Basically, all the turtles are there. It's like a sanctuary for turtles. Next, we have Guantan Hill, which is directly inspired by the Penang Hill, where there's like Oh, it's just like a very nice place. You go there, and then like there's a very long canopy where you can enjoy, enjoy trees. You can enjoy the greenery. You can see birds. You can see animals. You can see like chickens also. <laughs> Next, we have finally we have wine kulit workshop. The wine kulit is like the puppet made of papers. So it's like every day we have a event where they. Like, you know, create a story and then like have a play so people can enjoy like, wow, this is a nice story. Ooh. So every day they can go there during the afternoon. And in Santan, basically our master plan is like organic layout. And this is where we get our inspiration from. Infrastructure. Infrastructure basically in Santan, in Santan we want to mix of high-rise building and there's not a lot of low rise building. So we have a lot of Sohos, condos, apartments, and semi Ds. There's not a lot of, there's there's no single story, so there's no waste of space. Huh? Oh, same waste of space. So for emergency we also have hospitals and clinics. One hospital is located around the commercial area and one is located near the residential area which is for emergencies. And you can see here is the Brick Tower. Here is the overhead tables, which is one of our infrastructures. The post office, shops, roads, roads, gas station, mosque, temple, and the uh, Indian temples. Services. Our services. We have a twenty-four-seven bus, where the bus will act as a directional direction for the tourists. We also have the LRT. The LRT. This is the LRT pathway. The LRT rail. Where it takes uh, the tourists around Santan. Next, we have the, the service like tree shop, which is people taking other people for with money. Wait, no, no. Yeah, it's like a service. 
so you can enjoy like people bringing you saluta around. Utilities is water, electricity, and Wi-Fi as usual, like the normal place. Thank you. And so for our strategy to to plan into Santan, so it's basically just our resident and commercial area. As, as you can see here, is separated. The reason we want to separate it is because we can reduce the noise and light pollution from the commercial area. And because of the separation, the traffic will be very congested during the peak hours. And the solution for that is that we add wider roads for the for the areas and we have better better transportation system and road planning such as the underpass and overpass monorail and buses and also as you can see from the map most of our landmarks are situated around the side of our of Guantan. This is because we want to avoid disruption of disruption of the, the activities there to the residents, while it remains easily accessible to all the to all the residents. And the transport system, the transportation system in Guantan are planned that such that they give tourists the sense of direction, like where to go from landmarks to landmarks, and. They provide convenience to residents as all the transportation system they connect from from the residents to each residence. And that's all for our strategy. And for, for population, for our population, because we have the Guantan population now is quite underpopulated, so we aim to increase as the city becomes more sustainable in the future as they get more job opportunities. And for the culture, we, we encourage the use of public transport, like we got inspired by Japan, Japan culture, like how they always use the, the public transport around without your driving personal cars, just always using all the trains and whatever. And the religions, it's also the four main religions in our country, the Islam, Buddhist, Christianity, and Hinduism. And the other service provided at Satan is our police security system. And now there's the technology so advanced, of course you're gonna have AI voice system, just like Siri, they tell you whatever you want. <laughs> and also and also 5G, you're gonna have the fastest technology here. 